Okay, champions, today we'll be talking about Phantom and more specifically, my prediction on September 8th that price would pump to 0 0.97. So that was my price target. And currently, what, where we are right now is that price is somewhere around 0 0.66. Okay, and I also made a different post here around uh, about two days ago that price would retrace from the 0 0.8 slightly down towards the 0 0.62 before pumping back up to 0 0.97. Okay. So yeah, there's a quite a huge move since the price prediction. Uh, that was uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.39 at that time. Okay, now currently price is around 0 0.66. So that's about a, you know a 70% move up, uh, quite a significant amount. Okay, so yeah, uh, and also remember uh, April this year I also predicted the top of Phantom. Some point around uh, one dollar I sold Phantom. Okay, I also posted in my Twitter account that. Um, uh, you should be selling Phantom at that point, okay? And uh, price indeed dropped all the way down to zero point four. Okay, that was an April post, so yeah, it dropped all the way down to zero point four. So currently we are in Phantom chart right now, and please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Uh, we we do a lot of Bitcoin price targets, uh, altcoin price targets, and also uh, free pitchfork trading tutorials. Okay, so the the primary method that I use to predict phantom just like this okay so all these accurate predictions here was using the pitchfork method so you can just check uh, my my youtube out and my twitter out okay and do subscribe yeah for for future uh, tutorials so currently we are in phantom chart here and what i did here is that i predicted that price would retrace slightly from the 0 0.81 down to 0 0.62 okay and then go back up to uh, 0 0.97 Okay, and that was the final uh, price target for Phantom, but that is not the top. Okay, and that's very important. Uh, 0 0.97 is not the top for Phantom. Okay, so that's just a price target, a short term, a medium term price target. Okay, so yeah, let's, I'm going to explain how I did this prediction right now. So let's move to a new uh, chart of Phantom. And here we have uh, a daily chart. Okay. And now I'm going to draw a uh, a few pitchforks, and the pitchfork I'm going to draw right now is actually the um, okay. That's a modified shift. So the orange one here, you can see, is the modified shift pitchfork. Unfortunately, you can't see in the chart here, but it's right below the shift pitchfork. So you can just select it, okay, and just draw like this one, two, three, okay, uh, yeah. And this is exactly what you see here. So notice that. The price moved very well within the the level, within the space of the pitchfork. So so it just goes down to here, bottom part, test once, then it, it falls break down. Okay, and now it's going back up, and now it's right at the top of the of the upper parallel. Okay, so this is the upper parallel of the median line. The median line is this one. Okay, so what we have is a test of the upper parallel. Okay, so um. Let's draw this part here. So this is the second uh, median line, and this one will not be a modified shift. This will be a normal pitchfork. So you can draw it right here, okay. And what you can see here is a very nice interaction with the median line, okay. So at the second point here, we've already uptrusted the uh, the median line of this second pitchfork, okay. And this pitchfork is a normal pitchfork. Uh, it's not a modified shift, okay. So this is a normal pitch fork, and a modified shift is right below uh, this shift pitch fork. So yeah, what we're having here is a is sort of a, a breakout behavior, and this is very nice actually. I like how this looks. Uh, it's very bullish looking, yeah, because you can clearly see that there is an attempt to go up once. It go it went back down, okay. But now price is just simply staying within this range here, okay. It is not showing any signs of weakness at this point. So it, it shows a possible chance that it might go up much higher. Okay, and my price target, remember, was around 0 0.97. Okay, and it seems like if price were to go up above here, it's going to retest the top of this median line. Okay, and also the top of this upper parallel of the modified shift, which is what I am um, projecting in the, in the next few weeks, the next few days to the next few weeks, that price will go up here and maybe reject this level at, uh, slightly okay so uh, this area is actually a high volume region so if, if you all know um, one of my indicators is the fixed range volume profile 
this is what I use a lot and it's a free indicator in trading view. Uh, you can check out my website uh, www.tradeanalytics.com and I show all my settings that I use to uh, to draw this uh, FRVP indicator. Okay, so you just draw it right here. We need this wave. Okay, and you notice there is a huge volume spike over here. So what you can do is you can draw a rectangle right here at the region. Okay, and this is a very high volume region. There's a lot of interest in this area. So pr if price goes up here, likely it's going to do some kind of interaction. Okay, and I am somewhat predicting a, a, a rejection. Yeah, a slight rejection. So it's going to reject up here and go back down, maybe around here. Okay, then it goes back up again. And this time it might actually go even higher and break through it. Yeah. So the main reason why I don't think that this would immediately cause a crash down to here is because um, the moment it commits above this median line, okay, uh, it is already showing a sign of strength at this point because the median line is a very strong resistance. So if it shows a commitment above the median line, okay, that, that can be used as evidence of, of further strength. Yeah, so I'm not predicting a further crash the moment it goes up here. So the moment price goes up to the 0.81, okay, so the current price here is around 0.81, uh, right here, 0.81. Okay, so I do not, I'm not predicting that price will go back down to 0.39. If it goes above to 0.81, I'm predicting like this, okay. Yeah, so that's my prediction for now. Um, and of course, eventually the 0.97, it's the price target okay now that there, there is a pretty uh, decent chance actually it might go even higher than that okay around 0 point, uh, 1 point, 1 point 1 actually but you know just to be just to be safe uh, I'm going to put my price target at around here which is the previous uh, previous pivot okay pivot this is the pivot uh, C of this modified shift yeah so just to be safe I'm going to put my price target here but you know, if you want to go even further, you can try uh, 0 point, uh, 1 point 1. And I, I think that's also valid. Yeah. Okay, so that's exactly how I made this prediction, actually. Okay, that uh, Phantom is going to do in the next few days. So let's watch if Phantom actually breaks through the median line, this median line here. Okay, so if it breaks above this, and likely it's going to do some kind of rejection. Okay, probably a shallow one. At a, at a 0 0.81 okay and yeah it's going to continue higher this is my prediction okay so that's pretty much it for now um how let's talk about catalyst right now so what can cause a possible uh a down move okay so i'm looking at the news right now uh, with regards to um economic news so on thursday this week we are we are getting some very very huge um, impact news. So one of the impact news is the unemployment claims, okay, and the final GDP. So currently the what we are experiencing right now um, within the um, the markets is that there is a fear that there's going to be a significant recession coming. So what we are trying to see is that the unemployment claims, okay. If it's lower than expected, so the expected right now is around 224,000. Yeah, this is a, from the United States. So if you're getting like one one nine something, okay, that is going to be a surprise downside. Okay, and this is going to shock the market slightly. Yeah, I, I do believe that it's going to translate to uh, price, price action in Phantom and Bitcoin. Okay, so it, if it's lower than expected, it's probably going to cause a pretty strong move downwards. But um, I, I don't think that it might it will go all the way down to um, uh, 0 0.4. I think that's a bit too low. Uh, I'm predicting that it, it would just drop to around maybe 0 0.65, maybe 0 0.62. Yeah, so that's that's uh, my prediction for now. Uh, yeah, so you have to look at this week, this week's uh, Thursday. Uh, this is going to cause a little bit of chaos within the markets. Okay, um, yeah, so just look for unemployment claims. GDP might also affect... Uh, price slightly and I think the biggest one probably is uh, you know 
the the Fed chair, right? Powell is going to speak uh, slightly, I mean, a few hours after this comes out. So, yeah, wh whatever he says there is going to affect the markets too. Okay, so, yeah, I think that's all for this uh, video. And if you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot, uh, please like and subscribe. Okay, and also check out my Twitter account, Trade Analytics. Uh, there's a lot of things to learn there. Okay, yep, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.